Hi, everybody. Hello. We're back again, uh, episode 11 it's already. Amazing. So yeah. um, we're like totally in the groove of posting and videotaping, and we have a whole bunch of ideas for future episodes, but today I think you're going to like this one. Yeah, you know, I figured after we did 10 episodes, you know, we've got uh, some uh, momentum. You know, now I think it's time to You get, know a little bit more about us. Right. <laughs> now I think it's time to get edgy and controversial. <laughs> so, so we want to talk about what is at once the most beloved and most controversial food in America. Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> and just a little background, what brought this on was that... Um, as I have mentioned from time to time, I have a lot of coworkers from New York, and um, apparently there was some sort of dust up on social media between Andrew Cuomo, the governor of New York, and J.B. Pritzker, our governor here in Illinois, about pizza. I didn't see the background of it, but one of my coworkers made a snide comment. One of my coworkers who's from New York made a snide comment about our governor, and it prompted me to uh, ask some probing questions on the pizza topic. <laughs> And um, and then one of our other co-workers chimed in, who apparently is originally from Buffalo, and he said, you know, you big city folks should just, you know, settle down because Buffalo pizza is the best pizza. I'd never heard oh, that before. And but, me either. That's new to me. But so what began this conversation between Jennifer and myself was that we should we should have some talk we should about talk about pizza. we should embrace the controversy right. and, and discuss pizza. And how big a part of it life <laughs> it's, it's in our life. It's a big part of our life. <laughs> it all started t- back at 27 years ago right. uh, when we first started dating. And then it just became a thing where we started ordering pizza on Friday nights. And it was great. Uh, and then just to be working all through the week and then just have that to look forward to on Friday nights was awesome. Well, and I should also point out that if you lo- live in Cook County, you are legally obligated to have Party pizza Pizza party. on Friday nights. I don't make the rules, but those we are the rules. We just have to follow them. Yeah. So we did that for a long time. And obviously, as we got married, and uh, we actually had our rehearsal dinner at um, our favorite pizza place called Salerno's Pizza in Oak Park. We had Although a... then it was in Berwyn. Oh, yeah. Then it yeah. was in Berwyn. Uh, but we had our rehearsal dinner there, and we had pizza for um, our rehearsal dinner, which yes, was amazing. We did. By the way, the best pizza sauce... Ever. Hands down. That's It's hard to explain, but it was by far the best sauce ever. So we, over the years, have um, changed it up. So we had Salerno's in Berwyn. They closed down, which was a sad... Uh, yeah, um, we didn't know they closed down. We literally, we would we would um, pick it up, right? Yeah, we would we call Because they didn't have delivery then. Right. And we called and couldn't get through. And, and we're like, what's going on? And then um, they actually closed. And we yeah. were like... This is like so sad. What are we going to do for pizza? Then it's always like ordering from somewhere else. That doesn't work out because it's not the same and just trying it out. So we had to like um, rely on a couple other places that weren't great. Um, We still ate it anyway. Uh, And then it was probably, I don't even know how many months after that. It was Uh, a few months, yeah. We had a phone call and it was Salerno's Pizza and they were coming back and uh, opening back their pizza place. They had reopened. Calling their favorite customers basically to say, um, "We're back. Do you want to order pizza?" And I was like, "Yeah." And I remember you were coming home from work, and I remember the first thing I was like, "Salerno's is back." They and they called on a Friday. They I did think. right. We, I am like, I'll order it right now. <laughs> yeah, and they did deliver. They right? did. Yeah. Well, and and Salerno's, uh, the original Salerno's was is. Let me just tell you how authentic this is. One of my high school friends, very Italian. Big Christmas Eve dinner, you right? Because that's the Italian tradition. They every single year they had Salerno's cheese pizza, cheese, no meat, right? Because it's Christmas Eve. Uh, every single year they would have Salerno's cheese pizza, and th- the restaurant would be closed. They made it special for this family <laughs> so they could have it on their as part of their Christmas Eve feast. That's pretty deluxe. Yeah. So we, uh, over the years, have switched it up so we have we can make our own pizza. We do that, We've yeah. made our own pie, made our own dough, made different variations. Sometimes we added um, green pepper. We always do sausage. That's our thing. But we um, would do pepper and onion if we were making it homemade, um, mix up the sauce. It was amazing. We used to do a, a Lent variety without so- a sausage mm-hmm. or anything. And that's one thing. 
in the Chicago tradition is to have sausage on pizza. Not that people don't eat pepperoni. A lot of people have right. pepperoni. But the true Chicago tradition is to have uh, heavily, you know, a lot of fennel in the sausage, really good quality Italian sausage. But, you know, we would do a Lent variety. We wouldn't have the, mm-hmm. the uh, sausage on it. And um, how do we, how do Chicagoans cut their pizza? The way God intended. <laughs> They, we cut our pizza in squares. Yes. Now here, I get this requires some background, and this is this gets to the controversy, right? The sort of the New York versus Chicago pizza controversy, um, which is that you know when my f- work friend when when he was uh, mentioning um, the is putting down Chicago pizza, I said to him. You know, like a, a good lawyer, I was setting him up. I, I said to him, what do you imagine that Chicagoans eat when they when they order pizza? And he responded by saying, that 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 thing, you know, he's referring to deep dish pizza, right? And, and I, that's, you know, look, deep dish pizza was invented in Chicago. That is true. There are restaurants that kind of specialize mm-hmm. in it. It is something that is obviously associated with the city. But that's not what people eat. On a regular basis, right. if you're like us and you eat entirely too much pizza, you you would die if all you ate was yeah. deep dish pizza. And I like it. I'm not going to lie to you. I like it. But the real, genuine, authentic Chicago pizza is what we call tavern style. Right. It's a thin crust pizza. It's not deep dish. It's made in the traditional way. Mm-hmm. Sauce on the bottom, cheese on top. You know, unlike a deep dish pizza, which is reversed. Right. And it's it's very thin crust, very crispy. It's a very sturdy crust, not like a New York pizza where it's a little can't bit... can't fold it. You can't fold it. And it's cut in squares. Why is it cut in squares? Um, because it originated <laughs> as bar food. That's why oh, it's right. called tavern style. And, and so they the idea, wanted to have right. it so people could... Ha- it was handy for them to eat. Cut it up in squares so you could eat it while you're talking to your friends and having a drink. And it's... Fantastic. It is. And I will tell you that it is better than deep dish pizza. Even if you are a, a fan of deep dish pizza, Chicago tavern style pizza I is the best. I take that hands down right. over deep dish right. all day. Right. So I had to disabuse them of the notion that deep dish pizza is, you know, uh, really what, what people from this area actually eat on a regular basis. And the other thing is... The other thing is, and I'm sure this is also true in New York, and I'm sure it's true probably in any decent-sized city, There, in Chicago, there have to be a thousand varieties of pizza. Right. So it almost doesn't even make sense to refer to one as Chicago There might style. even be a thousand pizzerias, pizza places. I, yeah, Chicago. right. I have a, a colleague that I used to work with, and we're still good friends, who was from Michigan originally, but he's lived in Chicago for, I don't know, 35 years. He likes to say when this controversy arises, you know, his response is uh, about Chicago pizza. He says, our pizza is legion, meaning, you know, there's <laughs> there's just a thousand varieties. So there isn't really a variety of pizza that, that um, people here necessarily eat on a regular basis. That's true. Um, so we wanted to share just a couple of things that um, if you are in the Chicago area, some of our favorites besides Salerno's. Um, we are huge oh, Salerno's fans. is still good. We are huge fans of home run-in pizza. Right. Uh, there is a restaurant that opened. Normally you can buy it frozen, which we've done too. Uh, outstanding. Different crust. Um, really different Very crust. buttery. Yeah. Like, um, very thin very and sturdy. Thin. Uh, but flaky. It's almost like a pie crust. It's almost like a pie crust. But it doesn't. not sweet. Not sweet. Not sweet. Uh, awesome sauce and really great um, uh, sausage, too. I think wh- whoever, well, I don't know if there's like a central place where people buy sausage or they make their own or whatever, but there's always that like quality of just like a little bit of spice, you right. know, the fennel, and it's just like it's, so good. It has to have fennel because that's the mm-hmm. thing that really, I think, distinct. I mean, it has all the traditional Italian spices, obviously, but it has to have now, fennel do, to I be wonder, really good sauce. Do they sell home run and frozen pizza nationwide? That I don't know. Okay, so if you don't live in Chicago, check it out. Home run in pizza will tag them. Uh, frozen is just as good as getting it ordered deliver- for delivery, we think. Um, uh, well, yeah, it's very good, although we've gone to the restaurant. And the funny thing about Home Run Inn is that it began, hence the name, it began on the south side near Comiskey Park. So it is, you know, it's identified with the White Sox. Right. I am a long time, I won't say long suffering anymore, Cup, <laughs> cup yeah. fan, but I love Home Run Inn pizza. And so, you know, God bless them. Yeah. 
It's outstanding. And then um, what are... Uh, well, I, one of our great pizza stories. We have we have great sports luck with pizza. Yes. Speaking of the Cubs, because it, we were just remembering right, about this in 2015 when the Cubs uh, sort of unexpectedly made the National League playoffs, they had to play St. Louis um, to advance to the National League Championship Series. Everybody thought that St. Louis was maybe the best team in the National League. So on the Friday of that series. Jennifer made St. Louis-style pizza crust. We'd right. seen something about it. Probably on Food TV. <laughs> Probably on Food Network. Made St. Louis-style pizza. Cubs won three straight. Knocked the Cardinals out of the playoffs. So that brought us... That was luck. Right. 2016, during the World Series. I don't recall a specific game. I, it might have been Game 7, but I can't, I can't guarantee that. We ordered... That was when we switched to Home Run In. We did. So we ordered Home Run In. The... The pizza affiliate, you know, associated with the South Side, Cubs won the World Series. 108 year drought, <laughs> gone like that. It's all that. because of our ordering right. the right pizza from the right place. So they beat the hated Cardinals, and then they won the World Series. Based on our pizza choices. It is. It's 100% based on what we cho chose. But I do have to point out one thing. What? I, as much as I will defend Chicago pizza to the death, I'm not a hater. I've been to a very traditional New York pizza place in Staten Island. I'm going to pull it up on my computer here. Oh, my computer. Yeah, we're definitely my... not haters of right. other um, cities' pizzas. Pier at all. 76 in Staten Island. It was very good. Uh, I would happily eat it again, but I'm still never going to give in on that issue. I still prefer tavern style Chicago pizza. And it, as long as we've had it every Friday, and it's literally been every Friday. The, the forever that we've had it it's still something we look forward to every week and it's like when we get it we some, always have to check is it you know is it correct you know on there um but then as soon as we open up we're just like oh and it's like waiting for it to some, cool off sometimes we take pictures of it so we we might have taken a few pictures of it yeah and then two of our kids are vegan so they're out of our pizza party party pizza friday and they've just they've figured out how to make their own vegan pizza, vegan calzone, using um, dairy-free cheese, using uh, making a vegan dough. So while we order, they make their own. So it, we still have a family party pizza Friday. No sausage in that. Though. Yeah, there's no sausage in but, that. <laughs> but so now you know the truth behind Chicago pizza and why it um, motivates us. And we'll definitely um, share our favorites uh, pictures. Um, I actually just looked on my phone just right off the bat. I have like twenty seven pictures of pizza. <laughs> Same thing every week, but and we'll know, have to name. A of it. We'll have to name some of the stand. Even though we haven't eaten at all these places, um, Vito and Nick's is a, a classic uh, tavern style pizza. Yeah, there's so many in Chicago. So if you are from Chicago area, what is your favorite pizza place type of pizza? What are your favorite toppings? And uh, I know for a lot of people who come from out of town, that's like the first thing they want to do is come to Chicago to eat pizza. So we don't blame you. So it's a good, it's always a good choice. So we'll definitely uh, put that in the comments below and uh, we'll see you next time. We've got lots of great ideas coming up. So we'll see you next time on episode 12. They'll be less controversial though. It will. Yeah. <laughs>